Okay. Now first we have to go in this file section. So this will open an, an option. Okay. So okay. When, you, when you go in this option, you will find there is add-in. Okay. In add-in here, you can see the default uh, in the com add-ins. In com add-ins, when you click go, so you will find Power Pivot. Okay, Microsoft Office Power Pivot for Excel. Okay. When you click that, okay, a Power Pivot toolbar uh, ribbon comes here. Okay. Okay. So this is basically about linking. You must know about uh, uh, if you have clear some database concept that is good because if without it, it will be difficult to understand that what is exactly Power Pivot. In Power Pivot, we can get data from two or three uh, tables in same Pivot. So let me show you some example of Power Pivot. Uh, let me see. If I have data of Power Pivot, oh, I don't. Okay, okay. So I will open it. Let me delete this existing Pivot. Actually, I, um, I just started a SQL course for um, at a local college. That's good. So, so I'll be studying a little bit of a uh, database. That's great. So uh, uh, basically that concepts will help you to understand Power Pivot more. I tell you that how we, uh, because it, it is mini SQL, like mini SQL it is, but it uses some concepts so I let you know what are those. Uh, let me delete the existing sheet. Come on. I have three tables in this sheet. In one sheet, I have customer data. Customer. And these all are converted into tables. If you go, uh, if you click on that table, you will find uh, here table tools design and the name of the table. So in uh, this table, customer table, I have customer data, customer code first, then customer name, then city of the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have product data in product sheet, product ID, product name and price. Okay, then we have sales data that on which date, which product sold to which customer code and how much quantity. Okay. To understand the data, how mm -hmm. is it? In one, I have oh, yeah, yeah. about customer. In second, I have about products. And in third, I have just transactional data that on which date, which product gets sold to which customer. Okay. So what information we don't have here? See, uh, I am using only quantity. If I make a software, and uh, link this customer market master and product master to that so I will I can have a drop down list for customer uh, I will ch choose just customer code and it will get the customer details from customer table as uh, the same I can do for product I can choose the product ID and the uh, details will be get from this table so uh, basically this concept has been following uh, followed in, uh, in database uh, softwares for making any uh, many uh, any kind of custom application, so in Power Pivot we can use these type of tables to generate our data. Such as if we go in Power Pivot and let me see where it is already added or not. Yeah, in this I have manage. In manage, when you click. Uh, and another window opens, like the VBA programming, it opens. So another window for Power Pivot also. Earlier, VBA was a programming tool, and 
this is a database tool now built with Excel. Okay. So basically, I just delete existing data into that so that we can start from scratch here. It is uh, somewhat like access. So it is, I have now cleared everything. So you can see this is another window. So what we need to do, we go to customer, click on customer and in Power Pivot we just here add to data model. Okay, we add it. So our first table added here by the name of customer. Then we have product table and click on that add to data model. So it is also added as a product. Okay. Then we have sales add to data model. So sales data also added. Now what we can uh, do with this uh, now we can change something in this data model because if you uh, don't know uh, we look up if you want to uh, uh, generalize this data if I make it uh, and create a copy of sales so basically what I am going to do create a copy so I uh, is I'm just uh, doing just I need customer name. name here so what I need to do we look up and uh, look up this customer ID in uh, better I type okay just click in then customer table I have in column and depth. second I guess the name and zero. when I enter I get the customer name so through this customer ID and through this product ID I can get the values like I can get the uh, rate of the product and then for amount I have to multiply the rate and quantity together so that's what we are going to do with power pivot so when we uh, go to power pivot here I have a column we can add column here now we need uh, uh, say what we need here quantity rate of the product okay so in rate field I need a formula that is called related okay if you put a formula related and you have to specify the table name and column name so you have table name here product data in product and here you can see what we need product price so when we click and close the bracket enter so it's very easy you can see to get the data but what we can see here there is an error why because I have not linked the table first we need to tell now which ID belongs to which thing so we need to create a, a relationship here so we have diagram view here in power pivot so when we go in diagram view we can see our tables uh, it will take them so we have three tables 
so in sales i have to specify that this pid just click on that and drag it to this pid uh or oh, a hey, one second create relationship you can drag and drop and also you can select from it the sales pid is related to product pid okay create so one relationship is clear uh, connected then i have to create relationship here in cid create relationship in sales cid related to cup table is customer cid create okay so these table are linked now so when we go to data view or data view now we can try a, that column equal to related and our was product uh price i need when i press enter syntax uh, okay uh, bracket close so i can see here the calculation of price uh, the which product contains which price okay so i can change the name also i can choose as a price and uh, uh, then i need amount for that transaction so i can create amount and simply apply the formula equal to this quantity will be multiplied with this price then enter so you can get the data so it is very easy uh linking and calculating the data here there you need to have knowledge about vlookup here you will just uh, uh, create the relationship and enter the related formula and we will get the data now we have pivot table button here so i can um, get new on new what she so here i have oh yeah i was just play I was playing with the pivot table today. It's it's pretty pretty cool. Yes. It's very easy to use. Yes, yes. It's very easy. Uh, basically, for non-formula users who don't do not have much knowledge about formula, they can use these things. So, in uh, in these, we can uh, get like uh, if I. add city in row uh the city from a customer table and i want to know the sales from there so in sales table i have amount i click on that and i will get the amount of that particular city okay basically it is not available in our data if you can uh, see in customer table city is here yeah but yeah. it is just uh, by the link that this pid belongs to that city so that how to see both get the link okay uh, so it is uh, due to linking you can get these type of data okay that what city okay. have or uh, which type of transactions so basically it's just a sample to make you understand that what it can do that but you should understand that how these data usage it only works on masters okay you need to have one must master for everything and these kind of data only be calculated like uh, in one area you have employees data and other you have salary data so in employee they, you have some branches so you can get the branch wise salary uh, branch wise total uh, expenditure from by this linking oracle and sql use this type of terminology for calculating this type of data okay so this 
it, it is now possible with Excel also. So uh, there is not much things. So basically this is the concept for pivot table, uh, power pivot. If you uh, much aware about uh, uh, database concept, you can do many things with this pivot table. The basic concept is this is this one only. So that you so does the power pivot have uh, VBA codes just for for power pivot? Yes, you have uh, power pivot uh, codes also in VBA, but uh, it is not much explored because the functionality of power pivot is. Uh, uh, still not calculated properly because it has some pros and cons. Uh, it uses a uh, lot of if you know about the joins in SQL, so uh, it doesn't support uh, many kinds of joins because uh, it it supports only one kind of data interpretation, not every. So you need to uh, learn about uh, SQL joins also when you uh, got to know about uh, uh, this SQL jo SQL concept you will uh, easily uh, can work on uh, this power pivot otherwise you just have to uh, look at the data like me I am looking that you have customer ID and have some data so you can get the data on customer on behalf of customer name on behalf of city on behalf of product you can uh, calculate the sales so uh, these kind of uh, data you can generate through power pivot with mu multiple uh, tables okay so uh, this is the thing, thing okay. with power pivot and i will give you the refer more reference about power pivot there is a video on youtube so it will be more helpful for you to understanding the 2013 features and new features and this power pivot. For power pivot, there is a separate video. Okay. Okay. And I also recommend you to watch uh, 26 method of VLOOKUP to get to know about VLOOKUP, exploring VLOOKUP more. There is one hour video on YouTube which will be uh, fully explain you the power pivot. No, the VLOOKUP. If you Okay. Yeah, it looks like the uh, V lookup is pretty, pretty. Um, it's pretty popular. A lot of people use it. Uh, you will type 26 V lookup. So there are 26 methods of V lookup which is applied here. Uh, this is video 26, 26. I do That was very popular video. Advanced 19. 26B lookup. Okay. Yes. You you will find uh, the 26 method of V lookup. Functional beginner to advanced 26 at one. This is but this is in Hindi. You'll find this is from Excel Excel I guess. 26 method. Excel is fun. Yes. Yes. From that. I, I will give you the link after searching that that video I will can't show you. It is our video on 26 method, but it is available in Hindi. So I will give you okay. the link okay. after here. Okay. So uh, I will give you the link. No problem. Whatever I am telling, I will give you the link. So uh -huh. uh, uh, let's come back to a. Uh, uh, normal excel again and there are a lot of more functions also available a lot of new features in 2013 uh, like for pivot table so we need to take some data let me close this power pivot let me get some data for pivot table So, I have some data here, okay. So, what uh, we are going to apply pivot table here, normal pivot.
So here you can see it is same, uh, same you can use the power of uh, private table. Okay, so I removed it. So you can see the description here. Here I have date field. For this date field, I have a timeline feature here available with me in our pivot table. So you will find this option here in analyze insert timeline. So when you insert a timeline, you will get the date field here. If you have date field available, so you will get it here. When you click OK, you can uh, get this kind of environment. So basically what it is, it is like a filter. You can just click on the data and it will filter the data. Just like September 2018 data, October 2000. You can drag this to a particular data. It will be updated here. So it is a, like a just timeline. You just select the data and you will get the data about this selection. October 2018 to July 2000. Uh, oh, I got a question. Um, hmm. Does it do minutes? Uh, does it do minutes and seconds? No, it works on years, quarter, months and days. Days, okay. So you can choose from uh, here, months, years. In what format you need data, I have chosen years. So I can get the year-wise data. I can drag it to like this. Uh, when I need quarter wise data, so I can choose the quarters. I can select the quarters from here. We have dates also. I can get that day wise data. The particular time of data. Okay. So it is basically like a fil filter. A very uh, useful filter. And in dashboard, it mostly we use it. Okay. Then we have similar kind of functionality like timeline. We have a one more important tool slicer. We have insert slicer. So in slicer, it is also like a filter. Timeline is used for date and slicer you can use for anything. Name, if you choose name here. So you will get all the uh, unique names here okay you can select the data and see their data just click on that you can choose multiple uh, multiple data by selecting which which shape, uh, shift or control you can select the data so you can get the filter from here you will get clear oh, so filter. is this a filter like you said yes it, it is like a filter and okay. if you have more data, like uh, uh, there are 15, 20 and lot of names. So you can get the columns also in columns. Like I need for these data two columns, three columns, four columns. So I have chosen two columns. So I have data in columns now here in fil this filtering section. Okay. I can choose multiple of data. It is like a filter and very easy tool to generate any kind of data. So due to uh, this uh, easy functionality, we can use it in dashboard also like a control. While clicking, we can get the data like this. Okay. So we can use okay. uh, these kind of, this is only available in 2013 actually. Power Pivot is available. Uh, uh, have availability problem with 2013 but these in slicer and timeline is that will be available with your home version also okay yeah, okay now what more we have uh, in 2013 in 2013 you will find uh, a quick uh, like a quick analysis toolbar we have quick analysis feature we have where it is when you select the data, so here you can find these kind of things. Or you can press Ctrl Q. So you will find lot of options right here. You, as you can see, you can apply data bars, color scale, icon set, greater than and less than calculation for conditional formatting. 
okay conditional formatting is available then if you want to go and chart so you can get the chart instantly okay and then if you need totals so it will subtotal in down the way like uh, if I go down so here you can see the total here just by hovering the mouse mouse you can get it very easily different kind of data running total percentage of something so this quick analysis is very useful then table table format man. you need pivot table so pivot table different type of pivot table will be it will show you the possible options for this pivot table you just hover the mouse and you will find that which type of pivot table you want to create suppose you want to create name wise so you can get the name wise data just by clicking that if you need this city wise city wise is here city wise is here in plus of uh, there is internal lot of internal data also when you have name wise sales and quantity okay then in more you have other options if you don't do so these are just pre-made tables yes, yes yes you just have to click on the table and you'll get the data like this i just click and this is the data no need to drag and drop anything okay okay it's very fast and very easy then you have spark line so in a spark line you have this uh, like custom form uh, like data bars you have a new kind of charts here for each and every cell mini charts okay so that's how you can use the things uh, without doing anything just with control Q okay this is called quick analysis okay then you have one more option here that is called flash fill in this fill option you have this flash fill okay this is newly added here so how it is going I you must remember I have told you about text formulas okay so how we can do it like uh, in Sandeep Kumar Singh, Pradeep Kumar Tiwari, and your name is Bill, and one more name I added by me. So you need that uh, it should be your first name should be here. So you will just type first name and press control enter so you will be easily uh, you will be entering here only means uh, you go to edit mode it should be like this just on a simple thing and you have to uh, press uh, for flash fill we much we have shortcut here we can see control E so control E when you press so you can get the first name right away without doing anything ok then I need okay. middle name control enter control E ok middle name last name control uh, E with the, uh, with the press of control E you will get exact data here ok ok it's very easy uh, let's suppose I need just uh, like this uh, Sandeep uh, so initials s dot k dot sing you understand that control enter control E You can see what I am doing without using any formula.
and what you can do also you can change the case of the thing if you type in capital first you need to give input to excel you need to tell the excel what you are exactly going to do and then control it it will do for you you need not to use any formula here is it great na so oh, yeah yeah ah uh, man uh, one more confusion uh, uh, here i it is created like if the data is somewhere same and if i if i type s k k then what it should return to me control e let me delete this control e so it is uh, not properly understanding that what to do okay so you need to make it clear in your second at attempts like p k d so when you select this and press control e uh, not select control e it will try to do it but it is not doing and vikas uh, kumar b p c control e so you can get it will understand the pattern in your two three attempts if if it is not understanding your pattern in one attempt you can give more example to it so that it can easily understand that what exactly you want to do okay okay so oh, pretty nifty <laughs> so it's actually it is very useful we uh, we have spent lot of time for doing uh, these things now excel made available for everybody these things mm. uh, now it is not the function of uh, only expert ones the one who knows about uh, new features of 2013 can easily do these kind of things okay so uh, that's all they have added into uh, 2013 and one more thing they have added if you go in options and customize ribbon here you can create your new ribbons from here let's suppose you have uh, your company uh, like any new tab you want to enter so new group uh, new tab rename it uh, by the name of bill i am creating new tab and from here one group i want to rename it and make it official okay so they will uh, create a group then you can add and remove some buttons also here or macros you can add so i need what type of i need filter here add so i have added filter then fill color feature i need to add then i need uh, email feature here so i can add the things here and press okay so you will find the tab here with the same official group and your options okay okay so this is a new feature get added into this 2013 and let me do it like earlier uh reset so i just reset it like earlier it was now we have understood lot of things in uh, uh, we have seen quick access toolbar uh, quick uh, quick analysis 
flash fill and power pivot what more we have here if you have any kind of data not just you, you can create power pivot you can create charts also so select the data here you have recommended charts so when you go to recommended charts where it is available in insert it is recommended charts so you can get the chart types already made here different different chart types as per your data it will may it will be available to you this is your uh, kind of i guess the power pivot chart is created here okay likewise you have in insert you have seen the recommended charts and recommended pivot tables you have here earlier i have shown to you these options through quick analysis but it is available in insert also recommended pivot table so that you can see the existing power pivot table by this data okay so okay and this line column will loss slicer trimmer also available timeline ah uh, slicer it is just like filter now it is for data only not for pivot table okay it it behaves like filter you can use it not in not only in pivot table like normal filter also you can use timeline and slicer if you get if you give the timeline i guess the timeline is all uh, only available for pivot table but slicer is available for any kind of table so there are pivot chart and pivot table and recommended charts you have here okay so recommended chart you can use uh, one more thing we have in our pivot table here one more flexibility they are added uh if we use this recommended charts uh, so in pivot chart they have added a special kind of i guess filter here at the things you can get from this plus sign so in plus sign what things you need here you can just click and show okay no need to do lot of things just hover it and you will get what it exactly do then you have ha ji then in this formatting option there you have two button plus and this is style so in this style there are different kind of chart styles available right here so you can choose any kind of style and any kind of color from here okay so instantly you can do lot of things with your uh, 2030 okay no need to learn a uh, lot of things here just start work start exploring this 2013 and you will get lot of the op lot of options here so uh, that's all about i guess uh, 2013 these are the extra features added to uh, microsoft microsoft so hmm. i think this is uh, so there, there is a big difference then between um, excel 2010 and 2013 so uh, because it has the pivot it had the um, power pivot in 2010 except that it also had the uh, except power pivot 
whatever uh, things I have shown you right now, the it yeah. is only available in 2013. Okay. So even the um, um, pivot table, the pivot table is also available in 2010, wasn't uh, it? Normal pivot table available, but I have told you here. Power Pivot, which is available in 2010 as an add-in from Microsoft site after launching 2013, yeah. they have created add-in. Now, oh, after they launched, okay. Yes. Now, uh, then I have told you quick analysis. In quick analysis, there is, uh, in 2010, it is not available. Flash fill, it is not available. Recommended charts, recommended uh, Pivot, it is not available there. I guess that uh, slicer is a slicer and timeline is available there but except that uh, nothing is available in 2010 okay the most okay. Po powerful uh, features are quick analysis and flash pin okay so the, the, okay. Uh, these are the things which are not available there so that's enough for today or sh should i move oh yeah that's fine yeah one more. Oh, so what are we talking about tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we will pick uh, formulas again. Okay. Formulas, okay. Okay, so I guess uh, this is end of the session and uh, we will meet okay, you. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Okay.